Some people think that women like me don't deserve to be in the ring and they feel that it's not a space for covered women. Uh, they even think that we shouldn't be allowed to compete wearing hijab. But it's a motivation for me and it makes me work hard and it makes me want to prove everybody wrong. I started Muay Thai when I was 21 and I wanted to try a martial art that would incorporate my whole body so I'd learn how to kick, defend myself in various different ways. So I was looking for something more like well-rounded. My first fight was around, I think it was about a year after I started training. I felt very nervous about it because I, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I didn't think that I had mastered the sport yet, but obviously it was just a part of my journey. Sal was very helpful. He was holding pads for me uh, the whole time in the lead up to the fight. And he was the one that was in my corner on the day and told me what to do in between rounds and warmed me up and got me ready to actually enter into the ring as well. So when I first met Nazreen at the gym, um, I was very surprised, um, first of all, that you know she was brave enough to come into a Muay Thai gym. Um, it's very rare you find females in a Muay Thai gym. And uh, I'd like to believe that Nazreen was, you know, one of um, the females that uh, made this possible. After I graduated from university and did my masters, I decided that I wanted to start uh, practicing my face a little bit more and I wanted to put on the hijab. Around that time, I was obviously training and I'd have, had had already a few amateur fights, so I was obviously very nervous about like how that was going to affect my Muay Thai, how that was going to affect my work. In my mind, I didn't really know how to put the two together because it felt like they were different things. Felt like if I wear hijab, how am I going to fight? How am I going to train? I just didn't know what to do anymore. So I thought maybe it was going to be the end. I didn't really think that it would be a barrier in sport. And to be honest, I was quite happy um, that she did it because there wasn't any other females uh, within Muay Thai or martial arts that, you know, observed their faith, wore the headscarf. And, you know, knowing um, Miss Reem very well, I knew that she wouldn't stop. So after I had my daughter, I decided that I was going to fight again. I wanted to set an example to her and I also wanted to prove to myself that I had it in me that I could do it. So yeah, I went to Thailand and had my first fight after wearing hijab. I did feel quite nervous. I saw my opponent and I remember Sal talking to me and just telling me, you know, how much hard work I'd put in and he was reminding me of everything that I'd sacrificed for this fight and, you know, he really hyped me up and made me feel good. After five rounds of full action, um, the referee raised my hand and I won. At that specific point in time, I couldn't even control my emotions. I found out that I was, became the first uh, woman in the hijab to compete uh, in Thailand. And, you know, that for me was a massive achievement. I wanted to be a an example to other women, young girls who, you know, wanted to get into sport and maybe, you know, even people that feel like they don't fit into society's normal standards. So it was something that I did for myself, something that I did for my family, but I also hope to open doors for lots of other women to follow in my footsteps. Once upon a time, I thought it was the end. Um, and now I know that it's just the beginning for me and I've ended up with more things than I started off with and I've achieved more than I ever had done before. And I know that there's a long road ahead for me and I've got many dreams and aspirations and I intend on achieving all of those with the support of my family and my friends around me.